Okay, what you're looking at inside of there is a nebulizer. And you'll see on the top we have some plants. Here are our starter groups, which is uh, watercress. These are both watercress. And again, the system is not complete because uh, we don't have enough water bottles and Coke bottles to plug the other holes. But here's the basic system. I'm going to plug this in now so you can see how quickly the nebulizer will fill this area with moisturized, with uh, moisture rich air. And because it's an old plug, you have to play with it a little bit. There we go. All right. So you can see it's now activated. This is a silly Chinese model with lots of silly lights on it, uh, but it's the only one I could find individually. And you can see that it's already begun to fill up with ver with um, with a mist, with a water mist, and in theory, and hopefully in practice, this water mist is going to enrich these um, starters. Now I've got cotton and coconut. The coconut husk is there to hold the cotton up and the, and the hope and the plan is that the cotton will absorb enough moisture for the plants so that the plants will um, have time enough to get um, their root systems down through the cotton into the air, uh, into the water rich air down here. You can already see how rich it is. Now I need more caps to plug all the other holes. I'm going to have, I'm definitely going to have water and humidity leakage. Um, it's not an ideal system, but um, science is not ideal. It's just to seek for something better. Uh, these were quite successful, starting off in cotton, but uh, the problem we quickly have is that this, the roots uh, are like spaghetti, and as cotton is like spaghetti, trying to extract the roots from the cotton is quite difficult, so we're, we decided to go straight to the, uh, in the future we will go with uh, an experiment with the seeds directly in the cotton, directly in the substrate, directly in the planter hole uh, so as to um, reduce the stress of the seedlings in transfer because this transfer process was not pleasant I'm sure they did not like it. Uh, you can see uh, this is uh, arugula and amazingly we just tried one and it is a very strong arugula taste. Uh, we will hopefully find more bottles today and get these young whippersnappers into their own little homes like this later on. This is a continuation of the aeroponic experiment. Thanks for watching.